Bouncy, chomsy, 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 fun, 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 fun. The most wonderful thing about Xerath is that I can beat Profun. Diddy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Xerath Prevails. We're going to talk about Fleet Arena Climbs today, folks, and just beating that mirror match between Profundity. And this is not something you're necessarily going to use in GAC, all the way, and you'll see that in a minute, just with the team comp that we're selecting. But uh, this, is, this makes your Fleet Climb so much easier. And I know that this is probably old news to some of you, and for some of you, you just uh, you, you need to be told. You need, you need the opportunity to see it, and I want to make sure you guys see it. So... I uh, just want to shout out my patrons, you guys are amazing, thank you all so much for being so supportive and awesome, really, really appreciate it, you guys are the true MVPs, The for all of those of you who want to support the channel for free, or, you know, in addition to Patreon, whatever you want to do, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, help, help me mount the algorithm, guys, Profundity mounts the algorithm, and you should too. Let's jump into the actual game here, folks. I'm going to do this live so you can see it's not just cherry-picked awesomeness. It's just something that uh, works every time, basically. It's pretty great. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, we're in the fleet arena. Yikes. All right, so I'm number two. We're going to do two fights here, and then I, I guess we can, after this, we can go to... My alt, where I only have a five-star executor. We'll see how that mirror match goes. But here we are, guys. Um, mirror match number one. You guys might have seen the inventory. I should have shown you before. I'm sorry. I just kind of jumped into the fight. But, okay, so the fight starts just as you normally would. I mean, I don't even know. I, th I think this is the optimized way to start, but... You're just trying to kill their Y-Wing. You're just kind of flailing at each other. It almost doesn't matter if you manage to kill their Y-Wing. Like... You know, they'll kill yours, you'll, you'll kill theirs. It's it's annoying, though, that, like this fight that, like, you just, you can't crit each other. You can't do anything. So, cool, we killed the Y-Wing. Wonderful. Um, I, I guess let's just shoot this guy for a little bit, you know. Maybe we'll just get good RNG and just totally undermine the video here. Yeah, look at that. Undermine the whole freaking video. But, uh, I, I think this will still stand, actually. So, here's the thing, guys. Our first reinforcement... And the only reinforcement that really matters is going to be the TIE Bomber. This is the simple trick. It sets everything on fire. Now, they're, it's a rebel fleet that we're fighting here. And that means that the burning takes damage each turn. is reduced chance to not evade. does not stack. It doesn't really say anything about, about what it's doing. But what, what it really does, maybe, maybe it says it in one of these abilities, hmm? Uh, while inflicted with burning, they have minus offense, whatever, doubled. Enemy, rebel enemies can't attack out of turn while burning. So when he comes in from his reinforcement, he sets everyone on fire. And then don't use your, I, I know that all these buffs, super, you like, you really want to set, like, take them out, right? You want, you want to just snuff them out with your, with your, uh, vacuum of space fires. But instead, what you're going to do is just hang out chill out wait a little bit just relax a little bit guys just chill out that's the thing about fleets you just got to chill out a little bit that's, that's the only thing you just hand like hand the turn meter to this guy if you have a seven star and honestly we, we can just uh you know we'll go for the ult uh we got it all right so here's the thing okay they got another reinforcement that's great and now after you've done one turn of this, then why not just set them on fire again? That seems like a rollicking good time, right? And honestly, like it, it doesn't always mean that it's like you can't necessarily always just set this on auto. But what you can do is win every single time. Because it's just such a crazy huge advantage here, folks. I always call Cassian here. I mean, I don't even have these. I, I don't use this fleet in GAC. Not really. Not not usually. But, I mean, you, you could, I guess. Uh, if, if, you really, if you're really struggling against Profundity and you really need that mirror match to work. Because this isn't a 100% win rate, right? I mean, 
it, it's just not it's it's a frustrating fight sometimes sometimes but but you just coming in and setting everyone on fire is really amazing like you guys can figure out the executor fights I'm sure if you don't know how to do that, I guess let me know in the comments if you don't know how to use Profundity Kill Executor. It's not 100%. This mirror match, though, kind of just is 100%. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. If, I've never lost. I've never come close to losing this. Uh, like, the closest that you come to losing it is if they have crazy good RNG in the opening barrage. And like if they if they manage to kill like one of your one of your two big rebel ships, even then I, I've had that happen where they've killed the Falcon before, or maybe it was the Outrider, but uh, they've killed one of my they've killed Y Wing and one of my big ships, and it's still just um, it was still just pretty easy once the bomber came in. Gosh, you guys are just undermining this whole video, aren't you? Normally, Outrider survives a little longer than this. Here, let's, um, all right, there's a, an X-Wing here, I guess. Like, we're killing, uh, let's just restart this fight, folks. This one, was, this wasn't interesting. We want, we, all, we want Outrider to live a little bit longer, don't we? You guys want, you all guys want me to see, you want to see me blow through my crystals, don't you? It's real fun. Real, real fun. I mean, there's, there's nothing much to it, guys. Just, um, you ring in the bomber it sets everyone on fire just as a reinforcement ability and then they can't assist which is just such a big part of the rebel fleet oh look at that we missed the y-wing a bunch that is hideous what a terrible bunch of rng there we were getting great rng until now now we're just getting ruined which is fine i suppose that's what we were asking for right oh probably should have done the done the big wow this is a dodgy one isn't it he likes to dodge things. All right, so the Falcon really needs to um, do his wiggle move, probably, to get rid of that that protection suppression. All right, well, let's get him in here. Remember, he just sets everyone on fire by default, and it's locked. And now they can't assist. You don't want to set him on fire yet. You want to wait till there's a ton of other reinforcements here. Um, you, you can use this to dispel the nonsense here. All right, like we don't, we may as well just take out Biggs here while his protection is suppressed. All right, what are you guys gonna do? You can't let this dude live. Let's take him out. All right, there we go. Uh, let's just set him on fire now, guys. Get rid of their buffs. They'll be on fire for another couple turns. It's nice. It's relaxing, guys. Just chill out. That's all you gotta do. Just chill out. It's real easy. Real easy. Sometimes when the Phantom comes in or something like that, that can be a little bit sketch. Uh, Phantom and Ghost combo can take a little bit of patience, folks, but you, you can get it. You'll figure it out. Oh, here's Speak of the Devil, huh? I mean, it's a little too little too late, probably, at this point, is my guess. Maybe it's not. No, it is too little too late. Poor old Phantom thinks it's going to be important and save things, and in reality, it just isn't. Alright guys, I want to stay in second place, so you guys, you guys get the picture. Now, let's, um, let's go to my alt. I'll be right back. Alright folks, we are on my alt with a five star Profundity, we're gonna face a seven star profundity. And why isn't the TIE Bomber in this lineup? It's because I don't climb in fleet on this account. Uh, let's see. Let's boot Ghost. We don't use Ghost too often. All right, so remember, it's a five star, which means the biggest difference here, guys, is, uh, you know, so not all of the abilities are there, but the biggest one is we can't hand a bonus turn on basic to someone. That, that's the one that you always have to remember the difference for. So I also have lower relics on, on this account, on everyone. My main account being a beast. Not to be confused with the beast sting. I mean, I guess that's that's like pretty fierce as well if you're like three. So there there is that. I remember when I was a kid. It was really rough, man. 
<laughs> Just kidding. I was pretty afraid of bees, though. I'll tell you that. Alright, guys. Just take out the Outrider already. Oh, this is good. Alright, we're getting... We're getting there. Poor old Y-Wing's about to bite the dust, but so is their whole fleet. So they're all on fire. No need to, to just wait on, on anything. Like, let's, uh, yeah, we, we, no need to focus on, on the Phantom. In fact, maybe we should have, because now Ghost is going to come in and mess things up, but I guess we can, we can see how that goes. I was telling you guys how. How it's rough sometimes. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. So we're gonna do this. Just it doesn't hand the turn meter, but it does get rid of that foresight, which is nice. I suppose we can't crit right now. Uh, let's do set them on fire though. Get everyone on the same page in terms of being on fire. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the foresight. Maybe Falcon will assist. Nice. Okay, now it's easy. Usually I try to kill Ghost before I kill Phantom, honestly. Alright, let's kill that Ghost. Ghost is usually easier to take out, which is why I'm focusing ghost first we'll take out falcon falcon's just super tanky on like as weird as that sounds it used to not be really but uh, all these relic levels that we have and whatever it's just it becomes very difficult to kill especially with the uh with all the stuff and the things you know i hope i'm not in trouble guys i'm not supposed to be climbing at this time of day but there it is let me know what your thoughts are it's not too hard Hope you guys have happy hunting, and um, yeah, remember guys, thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails, and you can too, with one simple trick, CG hates him, <laughs> see you guys.